Blessings all, and welcome as always to the fairy wren nest of blessings. So today I thought we'd dive straight away into our nest of scrabble tiles, and we'll see this little cup of letters, and let's see what letters come out. What we'll actually do is, oh, dear angels, oh God, what beautiful mess oh, messages do you have for us today? Or oh, what angel is around us today? And Nemanyaya, number 57. So that's a really beautiful angel to have around. And that angel's got a beautiful sailing ship in its hand, so that could be a significance. So Nemanyaya is tireless in his efforts to improve society. So he, he's a, a leader and he stands for bravery and great love for truth. He fights malignant forces through reading and intellect. He's successful in his travels abroad and protects from betrayal and vengeance. So he protects and guides all those who work for just causes. And he's an excellent economicist, economist, economist, can't even pronounce that, an administrator, especially in times of crisis. And I guess the economy and the world health at the moment is struggling. So that could definitely be an encouraging angel message and message angel to have by our side today in the world especially as a great economist and fights for good causes and to improve society so here's the letters perhaps straight away you can see a message in those so I can see hi Hi seems to pop up a lot in these fairy wren messages. Hi from heaven from the angels. Oh again, T comes up a lot too. That can remind us of our grandmothers and mothers' loves for an old fashioned cup of tea and a teacup and saucer out of a teapot. So I do love that. So let's see if we can start off with a few names. We've got Joe. So a message from Joe in heaven or to Joe on earth from the angels. There's Ben. Oh, there's Tom. There's a few. Oh, oh that's an upside down W, but that doesn't matter. We'll... We'll go with Tom there. And there's Dean. Or Dina. Dina. There's Dean. There's Tim with the upside down W. I'm cheating a little bit, but why not? So it's Tim. Uh, did we do Don? We must have already done Don. There's Ron. Oh, I can see Jen. Jen. Did we? I'm forgetting what names we do, but there's. Is there Tina? Did I already do Tina? T 
Tina, or Rina, there's Ken, there's a message for Ken or from Ken, look there's Dot, that's short for Dorothy, the Dot. There's Kate. Kate. There's Dawn. That's beautiful. Message from Dawn or for Dawn. There's also possibly a promise of a new dawn. Got this beautiful angel and his sailing ship travelling to new horizons, a new dawn for all of us. Oh, I feel can see Noah, Noah, that's quite beautiful about a Noah and his boat or his ship, there's Noah, Noah's Ark, so I might just pause this quickly, have a good look and I'm going to see what other words I can find, I hope you don't mind but just so I can write a few things down and I'll Wow, I, I, oh wow, I can see something. Just one minute. So I hope you don't mind me pausing this so I'd be on here for hours deciphering the words. But I found, look, be kind. So that's definitely the words from the angels today. Be kind. You know, in this current world situation, be kind to each other. And there's also... War. I found the words war here. There's war. Perhaps this is a message from someone in spirit who was in the war. We have the little sailing ship. Perhaps they were a sailor in the navy. Or perhaps someone on earth from a spirit someone on earth who was in a war who's all with the armed services and I notice how I was using the W's upside down and maybe they're thinking of home past memories in home that's really lovely and if you look a bit closer I've studied the words when I pause the camera there's knit. Perhaps there's a message for someone out there who loves knitting. One of these names here. Knit or someone in heaven we know who loved knitting and who loved tea. Who's saying hi. And also kite. Let's go fly a kite. Mary Poppins. So perhaps that's something we could all do. Find more fun, go back to childhood we used to fly kites. And I noticed also there's air, the word air. The birds fly through the air and their messages. Heaven is air. And studying the letters also. Beautiful word earth came up so the angels communicating between heaven and earth between the air spirit and the earth wow that's truly truly beautiful messages today maybe there's someone at the name Bo 
bow. Oh, there, bow. Or bow. The bow of a boat, and the angel has a bow. But when I also studied the letters, when I paused the camera, it's quite breathtaking. The angels actually spell the word boat here today. So definitely a connection to Namamaya. So that's just how beautiful these words can come out just at random and in relation to working with this beautiful angel card that came up today. So there's so many messages in, in here. I'll just pause it again. Now perhaps just these initials mean something to you. These letters, I'll just pause it again and see if I can find any other words. Can you? I'd love to know. There's the word wind. So wind and the air. So definitely significance there and how the angels and the birds fly through the air on the wind and they communicate with earth. How beautiful and of course we had the boat the angels drawing attention to the boat that came up and how the word Noah you know from the Bible Noah which is beautiful ark so wow how beautiful is that and I just found the word tweet as well as in the birds. So spirit and the angels do know exactly how to come in with their energies around a reading. Oh, there's just so much in here today. It's wow. But definitely the high. We, oh, oh my. Wait. Look. Wren. Oh, wow. So truly these letters drawn at random and so many messages. The Wren, how truly, truly beautiful. So there's the word date. So perhaps the day you're watching this is a special day. So significant significance. Of course we got Kate. Maybe the five and the seven is a date for you or the age or something. And we've even got a, did, did I bring up the, the bow or the bow of the boat? I may have done that. So sorry if I'm repeating myself. So really, really beautiful messages there for us today. And the main message too, around the boat, of course, that and the wren, the word that come up, but hi. I, B, and B, we haven't got the word B, but kind, B, kind, so be kind are the words for the day, so thank you so much angels for coming in. All your beautiful messages, we hear you loud and clear. So blessings all. Thank you for coming to the fairy wren nest with the wren appearing and all the beautiful significance. And I truly hope this resonated with you. Blessings all. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And take care.